Hi guys, James from DIY EFI here. Today we're going to have a look at our new ECU and Loom bundle. This is for the ZTEC and ST170 engines from Ford, which are now being retrofitted into all sorts of classics. So before we get into the Loom itself, we should have a look at the ECU. This is our Core 4 T36. It's a Speedwino based ECU, plenty of IO, and it comes with an internal four bar map sensor. So there's no need to have one of those in your engine bay. So Loom itself, this comes with an aux connector kit, which we'll come on to shortly. So, before we look at the engine side of the Loom, we're just going to look at what you get inside the cab. So you've got the two connectors which go into the ECU itself. There's a nice power section which you have two ground wires, which you fix to your chassis or wherever you're grounding to, and three power wires. These are so you can fuse the ECU, ignition coil, injectors and solenoids separately. There is an auxiliary connector here, and this is where the connector kit comes in. So rather than having loose wires you join to your bits you have in your car, you can install this within your car. So there's the tack out, the trigger to a fuel pump relay, the clutch or launch switch in for launch control, and then the trigger out for your cooling fan relay. So this included no extra cost and just makes your install a bit tidier. On this model here, we just have a single wire. This is for if you use an external wire band controller such as an AEM or an Innovate, and this just takes the zero to five volt signal in. There is an option to have an internal wideband controller within the ECU, so you don't need this, in which case this is replaced by a short cable with a wideband connector on there, so there's no need for an additional controller, it's all done within the ECU itself. So if we go down the loom, so this is braided and can be run through your cab into your engine bay. Kind of work our way inwards. So a two pin junior power timer for your air temperature sensor, one such as this. There's another two pin junior timer and this is for your coolant sensor. Um, we'd recommend one like this installed in a water hour somewhere. If you do want to use the black top ZTEC inbuilt cylinder head timer, you will need to change the connector from that, but we recommend using one installed in the water rail or in the water pipework somewhere. Here we have the camshaft sensor. Uh, this is a two pin junior power timer because this is the black top version of the loom. If you have the ST170 version, it will have the connector for the cam sensor on that engine. This is the coil connector. You'll notice this is not the three pin Ford coil connector. This is a four pin version. That's because we built the loom to use the VW wasted spark coil pack, which has inbuilt ignition drivers. So these turrets are the same as what is on the later ZTEX and the ST170. So you can use your ignition lead still. This is a simple connection of connecting that here and this ground wire goes beneath here when you bolt it to your chassis. So moving inwards on the loom, we've got a branch here, which has your four injector wires. So in labeled four, three, two, and one, with one being the front of the engine. This is wired for sequential, so if you run both a crank and cam sensor, you can have sequential fueling. If you just run a crank sensor only, you can have semi-sequential where the injectors are paired. Further down, we've got a two pin junior power timer again, and this is for an idle valve. This suits most aftermarket idle valves. If you are planning to run the original Ford inlet with the Ford idle valve, Speak to us beforehand and we can arrange for a Ford two pin connector here. So this is the crank sensor. So two pin junior power timer. This is common across all of the engines that this loom will support. 
Here we have another two pin Joe junior power timer and this is for the VVT on the ST170. As plug and play, there's no need to wire in any diodes, that's all handled within the ECU. Here we've got a three pin connector for the throttle or TPS. This is the standard connector for the Ford throttle body. If you want to change this for bike ITBs or any aftermarket, this is just three connectors in here, which will be covered in the manual on how to connect that. Five volt signal and ground. The last connector is boost. So this again is a two pin junior power timer. This is to connect to a Peerberg style boost solenoid for if you're running a turbocharged application. So that's just a brief introduction. This should be coming to market later this year. Thank you.